What is going on with the price in silver and gold? <clears throat> It was a simple question. And my local coin shop dealer, Tim Marshner, is such an amazingly patient person. He answers everyone's questions, whether it be in person or over the phone. And I really appreciate how helpful he is. But sometimes, Tim Marshner goes off. So I have to warn you right now, if you're the type of person who gets easily triggered over political speech, you may want to just stop watching this video right now. And I mean it. Don't like it. Don't subscribe. Don't comment. Don't watch. If you're going to get all hot and bothered over what Tim is about to say, it's best you just move on. <laughs> all right? I mean, this channel of mine, which I started back in August of 2018, was primarily about the stacking of physical precious metals, silver and gold. But there is a small portion of macroeconomics that I love to talk about on this channel. And a little bit of political speech. Now, I, I'm a registered independent, okay? I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. I am a conservative, I'm a constitutionalist. Tim, is a patriot and loves this country and he has some strong opinions i guess i could say and i love hearing him out so i'm gonna let him roll this is this is gonna be tim unfiltered he's gonna say what he wants to say first about precious metals but but then quickly about the state of our country the state of our government the inflation that we're seeing the uh, fiscal craziness coming out of Washington, I'm going to let him go. And uh, I hope you can appreciate it. If you do, you can hit the like, okay? But be warned, this is a Tim Marshner rant. What is going on with the price in silver and gold? <clears throat> well, the COMEX proved that they have a, a lot of... Um, should I say participation in the price? Okay. I think they, uh, their uh, wants and needs sometimes come into play. And uh, I think they need it to stay low. Just saying, they, they may need to build their reserves or something. Are you, are you trying not to use the M word? Manipulation? Uh, I, w I wouldn't say they're necessarily manipulating it, but you know, maybe controlling what happens. Is that is that different from manipulation? It's it's really hard to say because it doesn't make any sense. Um, you would assume because there's such a difference between supply and demand, and what's going on in the COMEX, um, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense. You would think that somebody down there in New York would be questioning their motives, uh, especially the people who want a short seller. <laughs> They're not getting a chance to. And I would assume that there are many people right. like the short silver. It's pretty risky. So, you know, it's uh, investors, day traders make their money on cycles, you know, ups and downs. And we don't seem to be getting much of that. Although the downs usually come abruptly and they're loosely related to some event like the you know, jobs report. Although if they look into the last jobs report, they'll find that a lot of people are now not working from home, that where the company that's paying, um, you know, thousands of dollars a month for rent in a high rise building are saying, okay, we're paying rent for this building. So why don't you get your butt in here? Right. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a lot of that. A lot of that, a lot of the jobs report was people returning to work. But the government will say, they'll insist, these are 943,000 new jobs. Prove it. What I can't understand is why any Republicans would vote for either bill, considering where the money is actually going. And you know, nobody wants to talk about that. But there's so little it's going to infrastructure. Um, and they're probably just going to build a couple of bridges over the Rio Grande. I mean, I don't think it's necessarily going to be 
infrastructure around the country uh, to make it easier for people to get here. Um, but you know, the, the situation on the border is is uh, catastrophic. It's not funny. I mean, there hundreds of people have been found dead on our side of the border. You multiply that by tens on what, what, how many people have died on the other side of the border. And that's not right. I don't see, you know, when we had a president to say we're a compassionate people, that's not compassionate, okay? And then when you see in uh, two of these detention centers, I heard on the radio this morning that um, one of the uh, border patrol people was saying 40% of the people in these two detention centers are COVID-19 positive. 40%. And they're being dispersed around the country. Mm. That's not right. All right. There's, there's so much going on that's bad for this country uh, and, and bad for the people who are coming into this country. I mean, it's not, it's not compassion. And, you know, that, that plus all the things they want to pay for in these bills. I mean, you have an infrastructure bill and it's going to contain a path to citizenship. And it's going to be, you know, we're going to do, throw money around in a Green New Deal without anything specific. We're just going to throw money around and call it green. And it's, it's crazy, crazy stuff. You know, Schumer tried to get this thing passed without anybody ever reading any part of it. And then he says, well, it's in this 2,700 pages, you know, a week later. Well, has anybody read that? It's probably not. I mean, who actually reads anything in the Senate? You know, maybe Rand Paul does, and maybe, you know, you know, you know the guys who are, who are making a little bit of noise, but it, why isn't the whole Senate, why aren't they even considering there might not be something in here that's good for the people? The next bill, you know, three and a half, four and a half, five, six trillion, whatever the hell it is, I would have to be convinced that there's something in that bill that's really good for this public that is not gonna tax the middle class to death. Because there's one thing that's absolutely true about Congress and taxes. They never, ever, ever raise taxes on themselves, which includes millionaires and billionaires. They never raise taxes on millionaires and billionaires. It, you know, whatever they consider their fair share, it will never happen. It never has and it never will because millionaires and billionaires are smarter than that, okay? Uh, Warren Buffett's salary is equal to his expenses. So what's he paying taxes on? His salary, okay? Well, he doesn't have to pay any taxes. I mean, billionaires are all the same. Their money is investments. Their, their wealth is in investments. And they will never come up with a wealth tax, no matter how many times they say they're going to. But they'd rather put a gizmo in your car to track your miles and has a built-in <laughs> breathalyzer. And it also has a built-in carbon detector so it can see what your carbon footprint is. I mean, sure, they'll put a gizmo in your car and affect everybody. And then they'll start to fine people or charge you carbon taxes or whatever other garbage they have in mind but they're not doing anything for the American public, not any part of the American public, and that includes the middle class, which will be destroyed by the taxes. Mm. Yes. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah, were, were we talking about gold and silver? <laughs>